What's going on everybody? Rafael Pinto here and in this video we are going to talk about the four main things that you need to know if you want to build muscle and the four reasons why you're not getting the results that you wish you had. So this week I got back to the gym that I used to go one year ago and I saw a lot of the same people that used to work out there and still work out there and they work out with a great consistency. I see them there pretty much every single day if I go at the same schedule at the same time and yes they work out every day. I see them struggling and even though I see them there every single day, even though one year ago I saw them every single day working out, they still look the same. First of all, props for them because if they are not getting the results that they could get but they are still being consistent, they are still motivated by it and they are still doing it so congratulations on that, that's really impressive and on the other hand, why are you not making gains? There's three main reasons why you're not making gains even though you're being very very consistent with your workouts even though you're working out every single day uh, there's some things that you are not doing that could improve your physique in a huge way because even though you work out every day if you don't do these things then your workout is just well it's good for your health it's good to keep you active but it's not gonna get you the results that you want the muscle results that you want and the number one reason for that the main main reason is nutrition even though you're working out every single day, even if everything else is right, even if uh, you have the best program, even if you push yourself really really hard, if you're not eating right, you are not going to grow. You need to be in a caloric surplus to build muscle, that being you need to be eating more calories than those that you spend, but it should be a slight caloric deficit so you don't gain too much fat. You should be eating anywhere between 1.4 and 2 grams of protein per kilo of body weight and that should be about 0.7 to 1 gram per pound of body weight. You can go lower, yes you can, especially if you're bulking, you should have lower protein intake if you're bulking than if you were at but still have a good amount of protein there but don't just worry about protein worry about carbs worry about fat they are all essential in the same way you need to worry about them and you need to worry about calories calories is the main thing so that can be the reason why you're not getting the results even though you are putting in the effort in the gym the number two reason for you not getting results is bad programming you can work out bicep and chest Every single day they will not grow because you're working them out too much. You're giving them too much stress and you're actually burning muscle instead of building. You're actually training for resistance instead of muscle building. Your muscles need time to recover. You need to have a good program. And even though you might think you're giving your muscles rest, you're doing bicep in one day and back on the other. Or you're doing tricep in one day and chest on the other. These muscles, muscles that work together with chest, tricep, back, bicep, they work together. And even if you don't do any direct tricep work, if you work out your chest, your tricep will be working. And if you work it again the next day or the day before, that will be a problem and that will stop you from getting the results that you want. There's a lot of things that go into right programming and I can't really tell you what's the best workout split. I'm gonna do a video about it, but it's really, really individualized. So only you can know what's the best workout split for you. But as a general measure, know at least that you shouldn't work out your muscle, your same muscle, twice in a period of 48 hours. Your muscle needs at least 48 hours to 72 to fully, fully recover. Unless you're doing full body workouts or just a little bit of volume. And in that case, you can do them every other day. Okay, the reason number three why you're not getting results is effort. Even though you're coming to the gym every day, even though you're eating right, if you are not putting in the effort in your sets, in your reps, if you are not pushing yourself, if you are using the same weight as you were using the month before, the three months ago, um, one year ago, if you're, if you're not progressing in the gym, if you're not going that little extra mile, then you might not get results even though everything else is right. Even though you have great programming, even though you have great nutrition, you will have some gains, obviously, but you'll not have the gains that you could have if you were pushing yourself. And I'm not talking about working out till failure, because that's actually counterproductive. You should not work out to failure every single set, but push yourself. I'm actually willing to bet that you have no idea where your failure actually is. I'm talking just about concentric failure, so just a concentric part 
of the movement but still I bet you can do much more than what you think that's there's probably some mental barrier there because I've been there I know that I live that and you can do more trust me you can do more but keep in mind you have to keep your form intact and that actually brings us to the fourth point why you're not having results and that is form if your form is all over the place if you're doing bicep curls and you're swinging your body using your abs using your shoulders using your chest you're not gonna get the results in your bicep that you wish you had that you wanted because your form is not right and that goes for every single muscle group feel the muscle working watch yourself in the mirror see if you're doing the right technique look up the right technique the small tweaks and twists that you can make to the exercise to make it hit certain body parts better to make it more comfortable to make it more effective for the muscle that you are trying to work out form is absolute king and that's it everybody those are the four things that are holding back your gains number one nutrition number two programming number three effort and number four form those are the four key ingredients to build a good physique and basically those are the four things that you need to be looking into when you want to develop your physique when you want to build muscle those are the four most important things so that's it for the video guys hopefully this was extremely extremely helpful i really had to talk about this because there's a lot of people that really really need to hear this and even if you think that this is not for you there's always room for improvement so that's it for the video guys if this was helpful if you like the video please drop a like down below subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already let me know in the comments down below what you think if you are lacking on any of these four come on i'm looking at you judge yourself and let me know which one are you not doing right subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already hit the notification bell that's also important and i'm gonna see you all in the next one peace Go get gains now.